So this is a Blacksmith's Fort Guard Station located in northern Utah on the Uinta Wasatch Cache National Forest. So the Blacksmith's Fort Guard Station is located in the left-hand fork of Blacksmith's Fort Canyon, approximately 11 miles northeast of the town of Hiram, Utah. The left-hand fork river flows right behind the cabin and it's a really beautiful canyon with a lot of outstanding rock formations, lots of differing types of, of vegetation and really beautiful colors in the fall. Just a really beautiful place to visit. This cabin was built in 1934 by the Civilian Conservation Corps and they were responsible not only for constructing uh, this particular structure but also they built many of the roads, trails, campgrounds um, that we see and still use on the forest in this area today. So in 2012, uh, the Blacksmith's Fort Guard Station was no longer being used by Forest Service employees. And at that time, it had also been impacted heavily by vandalism. So at that time, the Forest Service decided to begin restoration work in order to prepare it for the cabin rental system. So the, the work was conducted both by the Forest Service and uh, volunteers who participated in the Passport and Time program. Uh, that's a Forest Service program that uh, people interested in historic preservation projects can um, look at what kind of projects are being made available and participate in those and work alongside Forest Service employees. Uh, that's what occurred here and over the course of three years and two Passport and Time projects, we conducted much of the restoration work uh, to get this place up and running for the public. So this particular cabin had seen very little alterations over its 80-year lifespan and it was built in the 1930s so it was really important for us to maintain that 1930s era character while we restored it and so we focused on doing tasks that would make it still feel like it was from the 1930s. The Blacksmith Fort Guard Station is reservable year-round on recreation.gov. During the summer months, you can drive to the cabin, and in the winter, when the roads are snow covered, you will have to park at the gate, and then you can bring your snowmobile, or you can um, snowshoe, or cross-country ski to the guard station. Once you have reserved the guard station on recreation.gov, you'll receive an email that has a code to the front door, and you'll want to keep track of that code. And within a few days before your visit, you can call our ranger district office and confirm that the code is still the same. Here at, right at the guard station, some of the things you can do are just sit out on the front porch and enjoy the view, especially in the fall with the fall colors. And there's also um, left hand fork flows right past the back of the cabin. And so you can um, fish right outside your cabin door. In the greater area around um, Hardware Ranch is close by and you can visit Hardware Ranch. Um, there are multiple hiking trails and OHV trails that are available. Um, there are some climbing walls that are located in close proximity. The Richards Hollow Trailhead is about a mile up the road and also there's a spring called Great Cliff Spring that you can visit. So inside the cabin, approximately five people can sleep. There's room for five. On uh, the grass, the lawn outside, we can accommodate up to four tents. And then the driveway can accommodate a small trailer. So this cabin does not have any water. Um, people need to bring water with them when they come visit. It also does not have electricity, but it does have propane. And so the propane runs the lights, the refrigerator, and the stove. So there is a wood-burning stove inside that people can use, and that'll warm up the cabin if it's cold. And there's also a fire ring out back, which people can use at night to sit around and tell stories and uh, make s'mores and um, have a good time. So this cabin is an excellent example of Forest Service architectural design and also the Civilian Conservation Corps craftsmanship. And it's a really unique place and a beautiful spot on the Uinta Wasatch Cache National Forest. It is a unique experience for those who want to come and visit. It provides them kind of an opportunity to see how a Forest Service ranger and his family would have lived here um, in the 1930s.